Looking for a great bottle of bourbon? For less than $100? We got you. Here are our top 10 recommendations. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the studio. My name's Arthur. And I'm Scott, and this is Artfully Bourbon. We recently did an episode on $25 to $50 and $50 to $75 bottles of bourbon Prove to ourselves that you don't need to spend a lot of money to drink good bourbon. But you're looking for a higher tier. You want the best value for a little bit more money. Something a little nicer for a special occasion. Here's our recommended 10 bottles between $75 and $100 that we love and recommend. We included bottles that with a little looking you can find in most areas. The prices shown today are what they are where we live. They may vary depending on where you are located or what store you shop at. All right, Scott, I poured today. It's one from the list that we're about to share. Taste it, and at the end of this episode, I want you to see if you can guess which bottle it came from. Okay, taste a it little, now. A little game, yeah, okay. yeah, go ahead, taste it. Okay. Cheers. 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 Hmm. That's really good. Well, it's on our recommended list. But I have no idea what it is. <laughs> well, we'll see if you can tell by the end of this episode. So take a little sip here and there and see if you can guess. Okay, I'm down. I'll start us off with the first one. All right. The Smoke Wagon Uncut and Unfiltered. There has been some debate about this lately. Some say it's not as good as years past, but... Well, we really can't judge that because we've just tried the newer releases. Yeah, that's true. But from what I know, this thing is killer. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Whatever they got going on in Nevada is working, in my opinion. This is 116 proof and a high rye mash bill. Creamy and sweet caramelized fruit. A little oak and spice on the finish. It just lingers. I don't even care this is sourced. It's a winner. And it gets a dub for that bottle design. <laughs> look at that thing. Sweet. It's good, but look at this next one. One of my favorites, Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof. Now that is a pretty sweet looking bottle. Nice. But really, Jack Daniels? You gotta move beyond the old number seven, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Jack Daniels makes some great stuff and it's usually in this bottle shape. It's a 131.5 proof, gives it full flavor. This is actually something that might be underrated. What do you guys think? Is this underrated? Leave us a comment. It's, it's just so rich and inviting. Yeah, the bottles vary, but I really love the sweet caramel nuts and fruit. And it just, it packs a huge punch on the finish with some spice, but the spice, it dissipates quickly. We both love some Nulu expressions. They have a lot of options, but one of our favorites is this, the Nulu Toasted Small Batch. You know this is bourbon that comes from Indiana, right? Yeah, but it's the finishing that makes these great. It's like a dessert in your mouth. Yes, yeah, sweet marshmallow, vanilla. And sweet toasted wood. Yeah, it's like a 110 proof s'more. If you don't like this one, try another Nulu. They have endless expressions. Okay, next one is an absolute classic. Yes, the Elijah Craig Small Batch Barrel Proof. This is batch B523. It's aged 11 years, five months, and it's 124.2 proof. Elijah Craig has unique profiles with each batch, but they're always good and uniquely Elijah Craig. Yeah, lots of classic, and quintessential notes, but always an excellent flavor profile. Yeah, vanilla, caramel, baking spices, mixes with 
cinnamon and oak on the finish. These are always good and typically the best option if you're looking for good value. Yeah, they can be limited at times and sometimes, unfortunately, they get marked up. Okay, the next one I just tried for the first time this past year, the barrel bourbon. This is another cast strength. And this is batch number 35. It's a 117.5 proof. Scott, what did you what did you think of the taste on this blend? It's really nice. On the nose, I get I get baking spice with a touch of sweet caramel. Interesting. I get more caramel and sweetness. It's like a fruity candy. Yeah, I get more sweet on the palate, uh, like a toffee caramel, almost like a chocolatey dessert. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can get that. I get chocolatey dessert for sure, but also get caramel, toasted bread, it has lots of really good flavors. And I would say it's really balanced overall. Yeah, this batch is a blend of six different whiskeys from Kentucky, Tennessee, and Indiana. It says here it is six years old, but that's a minimum age. So this one is six to 13 years old. 35, mm, you will not be disappointed. Before we get into bottle number six, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, and if you like any of these bourbons, hit that like button and help this video out. Okay, give us bottle number six. All right, the Uncle Nearest Single Barrel. Let me see, this is 119 proof. Nice. This is another brand that used to source, but no longer does, or they do very little of it. And you were recently at their distillery, right? Yeah, I had a, a great opportunity to try all of their whiskey options. And this single barrel was by far my favorite. I mean, like, look, I drank most of the bottle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The others, they're not bad by any means, but this is definitely a step above those others. And also while I was there, I picked up a single barrel with a specially designed label designed by Kelsey Montague and this master blend edition that is distillery only released at 116 proof. This bottle is blend number 35. Now that is a work <laughs> of art inside and out. Yeah, the single barrel is beautiful, but Unfortunately, we don't know much about what's inside. Yeah, I get heat on the front and the finish. It's a nice, complex overall, you know, character. Baking spices, caramel, leather, cinnamon, and a wonderful lingering finish. This is pretty new and the single barrel might be hard to find right now, but if you see one, you've got to pick it up. This is really good stuff. Yeah, they're doing some great things at Uncle Nearest. And if you're near Nashville, check this place out. The distillery is home to the world's longest bar and the food, mm, top notch. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites from this distillery, the Rabbit Hole Derringer Bourbon. Mm. This Kentucky bourbon is finished in PX Cherry Cask. But it's only 93 proof. Even, even at 93 proof, it's probably the best sherry cast bourbon I've ever had. Yeah, and this is a really cool distillery in Louisville. It is, it's a modern experience. The mash bill is pretty typical on this one though. 68% corn, 18% wheat, and 14% malted barley. Finishing is really what sets this apart. It tastes like wine. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, it doesn't, but I do get lots of berries. Yeah. There is a, definitely a lot of red fruit berries, cherries, raspberries. The sherry does come through a little bit. It also has some sweet caramel as well, but it gets a little more dry towards the finish. Yeah, which, which I, I like. It doesn't have a lot of spice. You can tell though, it's a lower proof, but the flavor is just so sweet and fruity. And something else we like about this is that it's made from small batches. All the batches are 15 barrels or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this bottle, definitely worth picking up. All right, Scott, you know we have to include at least one rye on this list. Here is the Peerless Double Oak 
right. And this is probably the best Peerless I've ever had. It's so good. And it comes without any water added. There will be, you know, variables in this one, but this bottle is 109.2 proof. I mean, just look at this thing. Look how dark it is. Yeah, that thing is super, <laughs> super rich. Yeah. If you like cocoa and coffee, that's what's in here. No, I'm just kidding. That's <laughs> the flavors you get in this one. Yeah, it has a long finish with a pleasant dose of oak. Yeah, so wonderful. Okay, can I know what I'm drinking yet? Nope, can't tell you until we get to the end. Any guesses so far? I'm gonna say it's either this or this guy. Okay, all right. Well, guess we'll have to wait to find out. All right, I'll give you the next bottle that what you're drinking might be. This is the Old Elk Double Wheat. Oh, wheat. <laughs> <laughs> A regular wheat, this isn't good enough for you, is it? You gotta have the double wheat. This isn't your typical wheat. No. This bottle has a mash bill of 71.5 wheat, 25% corn, and 3.5 malted barley. I would I would say it's graham cracker. Mm -hmm. Like I like a good earthy note, and this has that on the finish. With some really, really nice baking spices. Yeah. Okay, Scott, share your last bottle with us. You know, why don't you do it? No, go ahead. I think you got it. You're doing good. All right, here it is. This is the Jefferson's Tropics. We tried a Jefferson's that is actually worth buying. All right, it surprised us. We usually pass on anything Jefferson's. Going all the way to Singapore must have made it better <laughs> than just aging it at sea. Don't buy the age at sea. <laughs> this bottle is 104 proof and has great flavors that come from the Tropic Exposed Barrels. This first expression hails from Singapore and is a unique explosion of flavor. The increased humidity added lots of notes of fruit, cinnamon, a little clove, Baking spices and toffee create a full-bodied finish. We have bashed Jefferson's in the past, but this thing is worth the money. Yeah, a beautiful sipper. Okay, Scott, any ideas on what is in your glass? Um, I'm gonna go with the uncle nearest. Wait, let me type one more. All right. Okay, it's either uncle nearest Maybe the Jefferson's Tropics. Okay. Or the barrel. But I'm gonna okay. go with this one. You're going with Jefferson's? I think I'm gonna go with Jefferson's. <laughs> 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 Alright. Give a second pick. Out of your three, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at this. <laughs> Alright, you got a, a third guess out of your three? This guy. Winner! <laughs> <laughs> good job. It's the Barrel Bourbon, batch number 35. And a good one. It is. Yes. Yeah. I love this one, but really, <laughs> I would have been happy with any of these. Yeah. Of course, we had to curate to the best 10. A couple honorable mentions that got left off the list. The Remus Repeal 7, and also Widow Jane 13. Ooh, that one's delicious as well. Okay, would you replace any on this list? Tell us what we missed or what you would put into this pricing category. Leave us a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out this next video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Right there. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Enjoy responsibly. Peace. <laughs>